Hey everyone. You're going to have to put up with my ranting or face palming again. My apologies. Anyway, today I went to go see The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Now, I liked the first film, but I will admit it had problems with pacing, lack of chemistry between the main characters, in particular the main teenage characters, and teenage. <laughs> I know how old the actual actors are. And uh, way, way too much shaky cam. That being said, I still like the film. This film, much, much better. I really, really liked it. Uh, the editing's tighter, the pace of the story is extremely good. It's over two hours long, and I walked out of the theater. I didn't know how long it was going in. I walked out and looked at the clock. It's like, okay, this film started at 6.15, and it's 9 o'clock now. Wow, that did not feel like two and a half hours taking out, you know, the advertisements and prequels, or the previews, I mean. Uh, I was really surprised to see Philip Seymour Hoffman in uh, Plutarch's role. If you've read the book, you know who I mean. Uh, I think he did a fantastic job. And the interplay he has with uh, Snow, they expanded that in the film. Uh, there are parts that cut out that I don't think the parts they cut out mattered much. Uh, at least as they've got the film set up. Uh, he and Don Donald Sutherland interacting, I think, is great. It's a great addition to the, to the film. Um, overall... Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, if you liked the first, or even just thought, you know, it had good ideas, but didn't execute them very well, you should like this film. I can't make any promises, obviously, but yeah, highly recommended for me. <sighs> that said, the advertisements before this film, and one in particular, well, two in particular, but one I want to talk about, really just were... <laughs> who, who thought this was a good idea? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Anyone who is even superficially familiar with the Hunger Games trilogy should know that the citizens of the capital city of Pan Am are the most self-indulgent, superficial people you will probably ever see on film or in any kind of literature. They are lead an almost entirely superficial existence. They are obsessed with fashion. Uh, they wear makeup that's highly elaborate and they want the latest fashion all the time, and essentially the other col the other uh, colonies just exist to service the capital, who you know take all the riches for themselves, and are in Pen Am. Pen Am a circus is uh, the actual what it's based on, bread and circuses, and the citizens of Pen Am are definitely being kept in the circus. So, okay, they had a Justin Bieber ad, which, okay, whatever, but I don't like it, but, ugh. but, who the bloody hell thought this was a good idea? For fuck's sake, I just noticed as I went to download the video to include in that clip, they've got ads based on the various different colonies. What the fuck are they thinking? Do I need to explain how badly that product 
promotion misses the entire fucking point. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ay, ay, ay. Thankfully, thankfully, there's no CoverGirl advertisement in the film itself. So I can forgive that. But bloody hell. Ugh.